Hello and welcome everyone. I am Dipali Khetrapal, an NLP practitioner. I am here to discuss with you certain core values which may seem small but play an important role in achieving success in life. Do hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss upcoming episodes. So, we will be discussing the meaning of these values through various examples and stories and how we can imbibe these values and make them a part of our life. Most of us who live in this world are just like a feather that moves in the direction of the wind. Have you noticed the confusion which seems to pervade in our world today? People seem to be going in all different directions. Many have no aspirations to pursue. There is no direction to their living. There is no reasoning to their works. They appear to be in a hurry but are rushing to what purpose? The combination of a successful career, a loving family and a strong social network may seem like the recipe for a perfect life. However, even those who can check each of those boxes might feel like something is missing and that something is their purpose in life. Just as much as happiness is something that is unique for every single person, the purpose of life differs from person to person. Finding your purpose is more than just a cliche or a dream that will never be fulfilled. It's actually a tool for a better, happier, healthier life that too few people attempt to use. You don't wake up one day and have a eureka moment and suddenly know what your purpose in life is. So, how do you discover your purpose? It's important to find purpose and meaning in your life. But, purpose and meaning is not something that can be determined quickly. You find it by doing things and taking action. You have to discover your purpose by trial and error. The process requires plenty of self-reflection listening to others and finding where your passions lie. Here are five strategies which can help you reveal your or find your purpose so you can begin living a more meaningful life. First, donate time, money or talent. If there's just one habit you can create to help you find your purpose, it would be helping others. Altruistic behaviors could include volunteering for a non-profit organization, donating money to causes you care about, or simply helping out the people around you on a day-to-day -day basis. Doing something kind for others can make you feel as though your life has meaning. Listen to feedback. It can be hard to recognize the things you feel passionate about sometimes. After all, you probably like to do many different things and the things you love to do may have become so ingrained in your life that you don't realize how important these things are. You might choose to reach out to people and ask what reminds them of you or what they think of when you enter their mind. Or you might take note when someone pays you a compliment or makes an observation about you. Surround yourself with positive people. As the saying goes, you are the company you keep. What do you have in common with the people who you choose to be around? Don't think about co-workers or family members you feel obligated to see. Think about the people you choose to spend time with outside of work and outside of family functions. The people you surround yourself with say something about you. If you are surrounded by people who are making positive change, you might draw from their inspiration. On the other hand, if the people around you are negative individuals who drag you down, you might want to make some changes. It's hard to feel passionate and purposeful when you're surrounded by people who aren't interested in making positive contributions. Fourth point is start conversations with new people. It's easy to browse social media while you're alone on the subway or sitting at a restaurant waiting for a friend. Resist that urge. Instead, take the time to talk to people around you. Even though striking up conversations with strangers may feel awkward at first, Talking to people outside of your immediate social circle can open your eyes to activities, causes or career opportunities that you never even knew existed. You might discover new activities to explore or different places to visit. And those activities might be key to helping you find your purpose. Next fifth point, discover what you love to do. On the other end of the spectrum, simply thinking about what you truly love to do can help you find your purpose as well. Consider what type of skills, talents and passions you bring to the table. Then 
Brainstorm how you might turn your passion into something meaningful to you. Finding your purpose isn't something that can be done in a few days, weeks or months. It can be a lifelong journey and it can only be done one step at a time. You also might find that your purpose changes over time. Perhaps you liked working with animals in your youth but now you want to join forces with a cause that fights against child labor. You can definitely have more than one purpose too. Occasionally you might want to pause what you are doing and reflect on whether you feel like the path you are on is taking you in the direction you want to go. If it's not, then you can change course. Sometimes that road to finding your purpose has a few curves, forks and stop lights. Here's an actual example of life purpose. My purpose in life is to solve problems by changing the status quo. You will love the story of how Michael Arnold found his purpose in life. This is a great example of how straightforward your purpose in life can be. In his own words, I don't remember my grandpa. He passed away when I was 9 months old, but I sat on his knees while Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon. I always wanted to be an astronaut, even studying astronomy, geology and physics in high school. But when I checked into the requirements of becoming an astronaut, I realized I had been lied to. I was told work hard and you can reach your dreams. But there it was in black and white. Maximum height 6 feet 1 inch and I was 6-4. I couldn't be 3 inches shorter. So, I decided to become an engineer and build taller spaceships, discovering my new purpose of solving problems by changing the status quo. If you don't live life with a purpose, you live life by accident. You could end up wandering from side to side down the path of life, never knowing the bounty that can be yours. Take time to think deeply. Listen to God and your inner self. Be patient and understand your unique gifts and know the reasons why you are here. There are many opportunities along the way to serve your purpose. Be true to yourself. You can't copy paste someone else's purpose and make it your own. God created you for a purpose. Find out that reason, pursue it tenaciously and live your life with purpose. This is your friend Dipali Khetripal signing off. Stay tuned. Keep smiling. God bless.